air signs is Nicola. So this is for 9, 27, September 27th. What messages do we have for Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo? Sun, moon, rising. Uh-oh. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. September 27, 2018. Message for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. September 27, 2018. What you doing? Uh huh. What? No, you in there doing something. You don't have a business. Get out that bathroom. Get out that bathroom. Do your homework. My apologies. Underline Energy King of Pentacles. We are here, y'all. Front and center. So the underlying energy is either us needing to have confidence in ourselves, understand that right now we're in the energy of the King of Pentacles having the modest touch. This is for all of my earth signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Like having that King of Pentacles energy. That means we on top of our hand. All right, so let's see what we got. Star card, mm, nine of cups, mm, food card, mm, all right, all right. Some of you guys are taking a leap of faith or someone's taking a leap of faith. Some unexpected opportunities, um, wish fulfillment here. This is a damn good, all right. <laughs> this is a damn good read here. Okay, I was not expecting that, hey. All right, so. <sighs> damn. All right, star card here. This is talking about... Um, Happy, optimistic, long-term plans, um, following in your dreams, co-creating, um, wishes, fulfillments, hopes, dreams. Five of swords in reverse, no more conflict. Four of pinnacles, complete. Ooh, okay, so... Someone has wish fulfillment because there's no more conflict. A cycle is complete and someone has gained control of a situation. Goddamn, goddamn. Wish fulfillment could be dealing with an air, uh, not an Aries. I don't see Aries here. Well, actually, I do see Aries, so you could be dealing with the Aries. Uh, but this is about manifestations coming to form. So whatever conflict you've had emotionally, passionately um, within a relationship are over. Wish fulfillment, wishes coming true within this situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. That's what I meant. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. All signs. We got Evan here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? I believe someone, um, <laughs> someone's wishes have been fulfilled. Whatever that means for you. It's like you're happy. You've gained your happiness. Nine of Cups. Why is this a Nine of Cups here? Okay, true love here. Ay, ay, ay. So someone, um, hmm, I thought, <laughs> someone could have walked away, walked away and walked straight into the arms of a uh, true love energy, straight into the arms of, now, this is either someone, I'm reading into this, if I look on the surface, this is beautiful. But the dig, the more I dig into this, this is someone walking away from a situation. Um, they were confused about what, because we go from the seven to the nine. So we go from the seven of cups, confusion, debauchery, playing around, not being serious about something. Um, you might find out that someone wasn't serious about a situation. It might put you in a bad head spin. But this person may feel some guilt or their concerns are no longer fate or they no longer have concerns about the responsibilities within a situation. Someone has is no longer procrastinating and they're moving away toward emotional fulfillment for themselves. Their concerns have faded away. Queen of Swords is underlying energy. Someone's making the decision to move toward happiness, to move toward their own wish fulfillment. Like I've said the last couple of days. Um <laughs> Page of Wands, new person maybe, new, um, 
knew something, okay? So let's see why this 10 of Pentacles is here. Why is this 10 of Pentacles here? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Ten, Ten of Pentacles in this subconscious here. Uh, someone's disappointed. Um, they're in a relationship in something stable. Um, King of Pentacles here. This could be a male earth sign um, here or a female earth sign that is taking on that role. This person has been in a stagnant relationship. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Been worried about their foundation. Worried about um, not necessarily moving forward. Someone could be moving forward, moving away. Um, you could be moving away. But you, you, you haven't allowed yourself to heal so there's a lot of disappointment within this situation. Someone's made the decision to remove themselves from a situation because they're not happy. So this could be your energy. This could be someone else's energy that you're dealing with, deciding to remove themselves from a stagnant situation that they were not happy in, um, finding the strength to move in on their own accord. Full card. Why is this full card here? It was so good. So good. Okay. So someone's going towards something more balanced for them. Gaining their independence. Underlying energy. Removing the fears that are holding them back. Um, leaving someone out in the cold. They felt out in the cold before. So now they're taking a leap toward something better for them. Chariot. Um, whether it be you or someone or whoever you're dealing with. The chariot. Why is the chariot card here? Need one more. Someone's moving toward another offer. Queen of Pentacles. It's not moving toward another offer. Someone is has not been communicating with someone. They're moving toward communicating with that person, taking a leap of faith. Um, especially if they feel like whatever situation they're in is in balance. So someone could be taking a leap of faith toward their happiness toward what they deem their happiness whether it be a person place or thing um gaining their independence removing the illusions and finding peace within themselves cherry card moving um very purposefully <laughs> purposefully toward this um uh, page of pentacles toward their own self-worth i believe i believe someone's moving toward their self-worth all right, so let's see what guidance we have, if that makes any sense. It's just how they put it in my mouth. So let's see what messages we have for my earth signs. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 27th, 2018. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 27th, 2018. All right, so we got High Priestess. It says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Um, start delegating your responsibilities. Ask for help. Focus your intentions on what you need to accomplish at the time. Do not take on more responsibilities than what you're needing to. Make sure you lay your burdens down. But with divine passion, this is about being honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? It's almost choked, y'all. That's all I got, Earth Signs. I'll see y'all